Now we are doing this for now almost five years. And you know, in each movement there is sometimes up and sometimes down. And this up and down is coming uh, as a tactic in our winter, you know, when to increase and when to decrease and all these things. I think the situation is good and we see that this movement is not only in Belay. It's start to expand and to be the thing that the Palestinian will, will do. Everyone is now speak about the real resistance as Belay concepts. So it's, uh, for us, uh, it's something that encourages us to do more and more, not only for Belay, but also for all the Palestinian people to show and a real example and an, uh, a powerful uh, example or model of non-violent resistance that everyone can participate in it and we are getting by this we are getting the support of the Israeli groups who believe in our right who are participating with us this demonstration are joint demonstrations uh, Palestinian and Israelis and uh, international participate in this demonstration uh, this demonstration are a grassroots demonstration and popular demonstration. Uh, it's based on non-violent and creativity. That so this example is now became more and more uh, visible and more and more expanded to another places. That now in, in different places in the West Bank they are doing the same, and we are going toward making it more as a movement, not only individual places that doing here demonstration and the demonstration, but to do a, a, a movement of non-violent people struggle that now we have the coordination committee and all these villages who are doing they are now united in one in one committee or in one orga, organization. And you know, uh, now also the Palestinian leaders who were uh, believe in uh, the Arab struggle and they uh, give a lot of support now to this way of resistance. For example, last week, two days ago, uh, Marwan Barghouti, which is the Fatah leader in the jail, he wrote a, a good article uh, asking the Palestinian to follow the non-violent resistance. Mm -hmm. uh, which means that now it became more in the mind of the people who are the decision makers that this is the way that we must follow. Mm -hmm. You were detained uh, in August, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, why? And why you? You know, it's not only me. Now they are targeting the uh, popular committee. The popular committee is the one who is leading the struggle in Belém. So all of us now are being jailed or hunted that they came to our house. I was uh, one of these people and they arrested me for 15 days. And you know, they came in after mid two after midnight to my house. They brushed violently to the house. They are awake all of the people who were in the house and they arrested me and they caused me that I am the one who is responsible of the demonstration and I was throwing stone in this demonstration and they used a photo to someone that taken in the in, in November 2008 and in this time I were abroad I wasn't in the country I was in the other part of the world in New Caledonia near to, mm -hmm. to Australia which means that I have a strong hand to, mm -hmm. that my stone will reach very far from there yeah uh, so it, uh, I think uh, this co uh, I was I was uh, lucky to prove uh, through my passport that I wasn't there mm -hmm. so because of that they released me but they put in me a, a condition or a guarantee that I have to come to the court and I am not allowed to be in the village in Fridays. I have to be in a police station, an Israeli police station to sign there. Which means that they, they don't want us to be in the demonstration. They don't want us to participate in this uh, non-violent struggle because the, I think that the Israeli uh, government 
took a political decision to stop this kind of demonstration. And then now they are accusing us, using this term, uh, popular terrorist. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, yeah. Yes. So they want to connect us also to the terror because in this case they can fight us easily. And uh, I don't think that they will succeed because we are following the non struggle and the other struggle and everyone who is participating in our demonstration and also the media coverage and everything. Uh, it's clear that it's a non-violent struggle and uh, the, the Israeli propaganda will not work. You were aggressed, you were beaten. Uh, you don't demand uh, nobody. It's not useful to, to say I, I am innocent, but uh, these people have beaten you. You cannot say something against that. Or you have to accept. You have nothing to do. You know, you know, we know that they have the power of the occupation and the power of the force and they are more strong than as army. But also we believe that we are more powerful by our rights. And as Palestinian people we have right in this part of the land. And uh, to whom you will? Because everything there is the system of the occupation. So sometimes you do some complaints, but no one cares about them. Even if you raise them and you try to, to make pressure through them, but they will not. They will open investigation and they will, after that they will close it and they said, we don't know who's the one who did it. Because they are not uh, suit the system or the regime. They try to suit persons who oh. beat, but also they will say, we don't know, like this, if you take a look to the photo, you will see that all of them are masks, mm -hmm. and there is nothing to show who is him and who is he, and you cannot complain against, against uh, the soldier themselves, these are soldiers, who know who their names, who know who are they, the officers know. But the officers deny to tell who are they, and when they, you know, it's just only uh, a theater investigation. That there's no real uh, thing we get out from uh, this uh, complaint. So it's worthless. Yes, there's so there's nothing to do really uh, in front of the occupation because we are not complaining to the. International High Court of the uh, International uh, you know, Law. Mm -hmm. They are not following that, they are following the Israeli military law. So we are under occupation and... Uh, so we hope that uh, some, someday we will succeed to bring these criminals to the International uh, High Court, mm -hmm. to bring the leaders of the Israeli army and the Israeli government to the International High Court and to judge them as uh, war crimes.